Joining us now by phone is Michael Avenatti, the former lawyer to Stormy Daniels, calling in from the Terminal Island Federal Prison in California. Michael, welcome. Welcome to this week's Wacky Moments of Leftist Extremism. So it was only two weeks ago that MSNBC hosts were outraged that Ronna McDaniel would be permitted to sully their... Our sacred airwaves. But I think they sully their sacred airwaves pretty good themselves. While McDaniel won't be allowed on MSNBC, they bring on some of... Other interesting commentators to talk about Trump. So who would be the perfect guest to analyze New York City District Attorney Alvin Bragg's case against Donald Trump? Hmm, let me think. Tonight, Michael Avenatti breaks his silence with his first ever interview from prison about this case and trial. I mean, I can understand that MSNBC needs to appeal to Democrats that are in prison, but using the man who was charged with stealing from Stormy Daniels, from paraplegics, from trying to extort Nike, they want him on? Joining us now by phone is Michael Avenatti, the former lawyer to Stormy Daniels, calling in from the Terminal Island Federal Prison in California. Michael, welcome. Well, it's good to hear your voice, Ari. Uh, it's good to have you. We have a lot of news to get to, uh, but first, how are you holding up? Well, as, uh, as Elton John once wrote, I'm still standing, Ari. He's standing. I mean, sure, he might be holding on some bars for support, but uh, MSNBC will always help prop him up. I might say that this was the lowest moment from MSNBC this week, but they did still have Joy Reid on. The states are passing laws uh, to make it harder for women to get access to things like education and grants and business grants trying to drive women back into the kitchen. What? She gives no evidence. I, I mean, is she high? Women? Wake up. When a war is being waged upon you, you are at war whether you want to be at, or not. And the Republican Party has openly declared war on women. Wake up. All right. No need for logic or facts. She's just a cheerleader for the Democratic Party. Just like Whoopi Goldberg on ABC's The View. They take a look at the things that they're rolling back. Mm. Remember I said ages ago, you know, they, in their minds, they want to bring slavery back. They're OK with it. Uh, I think factually the Republican Party fought against slavery, whoopee, but you know, this is the view where this week, like every week, searching for facts is a fruitless effort. Racist host Sonny Hostin declared that climate change caused the eclipse and the recent earthquake and the breeding cycle of cicadas. Our wonderful, oh my our wonderful makeup artist, when the earthquake was happening, she put her coat on and she was like, Jesus is coming. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got the earthquake. Down the she ran down the hallway. The and rapture then, is here. The rapture's here. And then also I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Oh, for the, the first time in cicada, cicada. like no, 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 hundred no, years. No, 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 no. Two that's, different. No, two, no, well, they, this is what I read. There's two, two different there's times. There's two different kinds of cicadas yeah, Two different times, times are coming. The good cicadas and the bad cicadas. For the first time in, in many, many years. No, seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe, <laughs> but, you know, maybe well, you know better. I, but in I a way. say all those, all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that, you know, either climate change exists that's or, or something point. is really or going on. Uh, something's going on. It's just nothing's going on in Sonny's head. The writers of Time Magazine seem to have the same problem. They railed against Trump's new bizarre eclipse campaign ad, which of course was not an ad, nor was it made by the campaign. It was made by the pro-Trump meme account Il Donato Trumpo. All information that Time just couldn't look into because, you know, the internet's hard and stuff. Time used nearly 400 words of column space writing up their screen on the meme. But the leftist media proved that they will lie every chance they get in order to spread Trump hatred. But I don't think people should be surprised when Donald Trump announced, not even announced, when he, on his inauguration, we're just steps from the Capitol um, over here, he, in his remarks during his inauguration, he promised American carnage. He did. Really? And now, if he is afforded another term by the American people, he is going to triple down on that. I mean, am I, am I making this up? Who's that to? Anybody, because I'm just like, <laughs> oh, am I making it up? Oh yeah, send that to me because she is making it up. Let's see what he promised. And the crime, and the gangs, and the drugs that have stolen too many lives and robbed our country of so much unrealized potential. This American carnage stops right here and stops 
right now. Oh, the complete opposite of what she claimed. Imagine that. In his remarks during his inauguration, he promised American carnage. They lie about Trump to make him look bad, and then they lie about Biden in order to make him look good, like on the Arizona pro-life court ruling. And when asked his message to the people of Arizona, a key campaign battleground, tonight President Biden was blunt, elect me. Was Biden really that blunt? Elect me, I'm in the 20, 20th century, 21st century. More of his stammering, outdated self, I think. But one of my favorite moments this week was on Morning Joe, where you could actually watch the propaganda turn in real time. They had Representative James Clyburn on to talk about how awesome that Biden economy is. People are, in fact, earning greater incomes. So what we've got to do is make sure that people see the policies of the Biden administration, how they affect their everyday lives, and get them to see in his policies that which is real. Not what they may hear on social media. One of the focus group people talked about social media and the misrepresentation, disinformation, all of those things are mm -hmm. out there, and that's the battle that we have to fight, and we've got to do a better job of fighting it more effectively. So uh, I'll validate that. I think the disinformation out there is um, distorting the entire process. I bet Mika knows a little something about disinformation and distortion, don't you? But hold on, breaking news is on the way, and it's not what MSNBC was hoping for. And I'm going to bring in Andrew Ross Sorkin right now because we just got breaking news. Uh, the consumer price index increased at a faster than expected pace last month. A signal that inflation remains stubbornly high. Let's bring in Andrew, uh, co-anchor of CNBC Squawk Box. What will this mean to people uh, in their everyday lives? Well, I think this was a big surprise. Uh, it is accelerating. And, you know, we've been on this broadcast uh, for months now about how the trend line was in uh, President Biden's favor. Wow, they're surprised and shocked that facts don't support their pro-Biden narrative. But hold on, as all will be twisted and will culminate with this being all Trump's fault. The one thing that uh, they, they have the advantage of if they take advantage of it, and I'm talking about the Biden-Harris campaign, is to compare what he's done to what Donald Trump did. I think that we keep forgetting we have a record to run in terms of Donald Trump. Where was the economy there? Where was inflation there? Where was black unemployment there, etc.? And say, yes, there are people still suffering. But I dug out of a hole that, uh, that Donald Trump dug you in I don't think Sharpton really wants to do that. I mean, he might uh, shock his viewers again if he makes that comparison, don't you think? Is to compare what he's done to what Donald Trump did. I think that we keep forgetting we have a record to run in terms of Donald Trump. But don't worry, I'm sure MSNBC had all the truth they could take for a while, and they'll just go back to hiding it. I'm Eric Shiner from MRC TV, asking you not to hide from the truth. Head over to the MRC homepage, click on the donation button to help keep videos like this one coming. Check out MRCTV.org for the latest in videos, information, and entertainment. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to these videos on the platforms that let you see us. We'll be back next week with another look at Leftist Media Madness. I want to invite you as my guest on a very special, once-in-a-lifetime, seven-day post-election cruise in the Caribbean. Caribbean.
going to be a blast.